Hello everyone, let us discuss the another topic in cellular biochemistry that is cell trafficking. In this cell trafficking, I will talk about the receptor mediated endocytosis, ICL disease, the sig signal recognition particles that is GSRP and vesicular trafficking proteins. Here first of all I want you to know about the interrelationship of smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi complex. These three are closely interrelated. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is made up of network of tubules and sac that may branch an anastomos. On the surface of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the ribosomes are attached. The rough endoplasmic reticulum at places is connected with the nuclear envelope. Synthetic products from the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum are transported in form of the membrane bound vesicles from these organelles to cis phase of the Golgi complex. These various kind of vesicles could be the secreting secretory vesicles. The secretory vesicles are transported towards the plasma membrane for exocytosis. And membrane bound vesicles. The membrane vesicles contain the membrane proteins and lipids that fuses with the membrane and become part of the cell membrane. This leads to the formation of the cell membrane. And some storage vesicles that contain lysosome enzyme that fuses with the late endosome which then becomes a lysosome. The secretory and storage vesicle are usually coated. They are clathrin coated. Secretory and storage they are usually clathrin coated. The vesicle which are membrane vesicle are non clathrin coated. The formation of the clathrin coat is mechanism by which these vesicles are pinched off from the Golgi body to the transverse. So cis and transverse I want to tell you that this is the transverse, this is the cis phase. I want you to know that. The Golgi. The Golgi body is the distribution center for the protein and lipids from endoplasmic reticulum to vesicles and the plasma membrane. Post-translational events in the Golgi includes modifying the N oligosaccharides on the asparagine and adding O oligosaccharides on the serine and theonine and adding mannose-6-phosphate to the protein for lysosomal trafficking. Endosome are sorted center Endosomes are the sorting centers for the materials from the outside the cell or from the Golgi sending it to lysosome for the destruction or back to the membrane or Golgi for the further use. That I will discuss in detail in the subsequent lecture. Now let us move towards the eye cell disease. The eye cell disease is it is the inherited lysosomal storage disorder that is the autosomal recessive disorder that is the defect in the and acetyl glucosamide 1 phosphotransferase which leads to the failure of the Golgi to phosphorylate mannose residues which leads to decreased mannose 6-phosphate on the glycoprotein which leads to protein are secreted extracellularly rather than delivered by the lysosome which results in the coarse facial fissures, gingival hyperplasia, clouded corneas, restricted joint movements, claw hands deformities, typhoiscolosis and high plasma level of the lysosome and enzyme. It is often fatal in childhood. Now let us move towards the signal recognition particle. The signal recognition particle is abundant cytosolic ribonucleoprotein that traffics polypeptide ribosome complex from the cytosol to rough endoplasmic reticulum. The absent or the dysfunctional of the signal recognition particle would lead to accumulation of the large number of protein in the cytosol. Now let us move to the vesicular trafficking particles. The vesicular trafficking particles in include COP1, COP2 and clathrin. The COP means coated protein 1, coated protein 2. The protein, the coated protein 1 traffics from Golgi to Golgi which is retrograde transport. The coated protein 2 traffics from endoplasmic reticulum to cis Golgi which is anterograde transport and the clathrin and the clathrin from 
गोल्गी टू लाइजोसम्स और प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन्स टू इंडोजम विच इज रिसेप्टर मेडिएटिंग इंडोसाइटिस फॉर एक्जाम्पल लो डेन्सिटी लाइपर प्रोटीन रिसेप्टर एक्टिविटी आफ्टर नोइंग द रिलेसनशिप बिटवीन द स्मूथ इन द प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम रफ इंडो प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एंड गोल्गी गोल्गी कम्प्लेक्स आई सेल डिजिज एस आर बी एंड भेजिकुलर ट्राफिकिंग पार्टिकल्स लेटेस्ट मूव टू आज द रिसेप्टर मेडिएटेड इंडोसाइटोसिस Now let us move towards the receptor mediated endocytosis in the cell that works through the cell trafficking. The process in which the cell takes up or internalizes the low density lipoproteins, some hormones, antibodies, transferrin, and other specific protein is known as recept receptor mediated endocytosis. Now what happens? The membrane contains the specific receptor. These are the receptors. The receptor could be low density lipoprotein receptor according if the ligand is low density lipoprotein. It could be other specific receptors. It, the receptor is um, associated with the ligand. The membrane contains a specific receptor and it becomes associated with a particular macromolecules that means the macromolecules is ligand to form the receptor ligand complex so these are the ligand and it forms the receptor ligand complex this receptor are the transmembrane protein this receptor are the transmembrane protein and are in contact with peripheral protein on the cytoplasmic side this peripheral protein are clathrin this structure is known as clathrin the function of the clathrin is to interact with the receptor ligand complex now then what happens after becoming associated with a particular macromolecule to form the receptor ligand complex it results in the membrane invaginating and forming the clathrin coated pit the the clathrin coated pit it is a clathrin coated pit the clathrin coated pit pinches off to form the clathrin coated vesicles this you can see it is the clathrin coated vesicle it becomes the clathrin coated vesicles that contain receptor ligand complex and this comes to lie in the cytoplasm of the cell the vesicle loses the coating of the clathrin it loses the coating of the clathrin to become uncoated vesicles it becomes the uncoated vesicle the clathrin is returned to the inner surface of the cell membrane for the recycle and then what happens the uncoated vesicle the uncoated vesicle fuses with the endosome the endosome are the system of the vesicles present in the cytoplasm and contains yes plus pump that is hydrogen pump that acidify the interior of the endosomes the acidic ph of the endosome separates receptor from the ligand thus there occurs some sorting of the ligand and receptor within the endosome the receptor after sorting are returned to the plasma membrane through the carrier vesicles it is returned to the carrier vesicles carrier vesicle would is itself bored off from the endosome and these receptors are also reused the endosome the endosome containing the ligand macromolecule now fuses with the lysosome and the ligand are degraded degraded the ligands are degraded by the lysosome one of the example is the human immunovirus enters through the receptor mediated endocytosis that 